Let's download and install Adobe Creative Cloud apps like Photoshop. I'm using Windows, but you'll still be able to follow along if you're using a Mac. Go ahead and click on the link in the description, which is an affiliate link that will take you straight to the Adobe Creative Cloud page. You need to sign in to access the page, so go ahead and do that using one of these options. When you sign in, you should land on this page. It's in dark mode, you might have it in light mode. I don't care, I don't want to argue which one is better. It's up to you. So switch to dark mode in the preferences and make sure you're on the apps page and that the desktop tab is activated. You might have some installed apps on your system. You should see them right here. And you also see what's available in your plan. In this case, there's no active plan. So only these free apps are available. Below that are some paid apps that you can buy, try, then buy, or try, then buy bye if you already have a subscription, then the buttons here will simply say install. Very smart. So let's click here to try Photoshop. And as soon as I do that, this pop-up will pop up asking me to pick a plan for individuals, students and teachers or businesses. But I only need to try Photoshop. I don't need a plan. Yes, you need the plan. You always need the plan. So you either choose Photoshop or all apps ever created and then click continue. And here's the big reveal. It says that the billing automatically starts after your seven day trial ends. Try, then buy. If you don't want that to happen, make sure you cancel your subscription before the trial period ends. Otherwise, choose if you're planning to pay monthly, yearly build monthly, or yearly build up front, and then click continue. Some additional offers here. I'm gonna choose no thanks. Enter my payment info and then click start free trial. If you don't have the Creative Cloud desktop app installed, this will download the required installer. So open the downloaded file to install the Creative Cloud app. And once it's installed, it should automatically open and Photoshop should begin to install as well. Wait for it to finish and you should now see Photoshop under the installed apps. Click here to open it and enjoy. <laughs> 